everybody, it's Pam and Bill at Country Living Newbie Custom Decor in Spring Hill, Tennessee. And we are so excited to be showing you something so cool tonight. We're not, um, not doing anything with Dixie Bell paint. We're not doing anything with redesign with Prima tonight, although we're always happy to answer any questions you have about either of those um, companies' products. Tonight we're going to introduce something that you may not have seen before, and it's called Would You Bend Molding. And um, literally, uh, we're using this for the first time tonight. Um, I did, I, it's really the second time, so I did attach a very small um, wood emblem last night or yesterday to a desk, but um, it was really kind of a simple thing just so I could get the feel of it in my hands. Um, tonight we're going to be putting on uh, a piece of molding on a piece of furniture um, from start to finish. And this is literally the first time we're doing this. So um, we're gonna talk a little bit about the product. Uh, it's new to me, uh, so again, it's, it's our first time, we're sharing it with you. Um, I will say um, that we will be a stockist for Would You Ben, we just uh, did that today. So we'll be selling these, so to hopefully, um, you know, in a few weeks, we'll get our order in and start getting these in for you guys. I think um, I think this is a real game changer for furniture refinishers, um, even projects, <clears throat> frames, candle holders, chalkboards, glass bottles. You can put this on anything, okay? It'll stick to anything. Um, I, I just think there's going to be a, a whole a whole new world uh, with this product, so I think it's very cool. So the the company is actually um, in the UK. So um, not very many stockists in the United States yet. So we're um, we're lucky enough to to be one of them here in Middle Tennessee. So very exciting. So we'll um, as we kind of get the products in and get them on our online store, we'll let you know uh, how to order and, and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, if you have questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. I don't know that I'll be able to answer them. Um, Solly Joe uh, from Would You Ben might be able to be uh, on our video tonight. We'll see. She's actually in Greece. She is on. Oh, she's on. Hey, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think there's a Dixie Bell um, paint company live going on at the same time, so I'm not sure um, how big of a group we'll have, but everyone will catch it on replay. So. Um, Again, if there's questions or you're watching our replay, go ahead and put it in. But for, for Solly Joe, uh, what is it? It's um, after midnight, I think, where you are. So um, have some coffee and uh, hopefully keep your eyes open. And um, feel free to put comments in there. Um, you know, as I'm saying things, make sure I'm saying the right thing or correct me. Again, new with this and sharing it for the first time with everybody. So she's like us up until midnight? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if she sleeps at all. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> okay, so the, I, it's two fifteen. She says. Oh, two fifteen in the yeah. morning. Gotta be. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's six thirty here, so hopefully we're all wide awake. Um, we just closed our doors for the day. Barely. <laughs> okay, so um, I only have a few to show you today, um, but. From what I understand, there are over 3,000 different molds to choose from. So if you can't find a mold that works with this company, then it probably doesn't exist. Um, <laughs> so there's all different sizes. Um, we kind of have a, not a huge variety tonight, but we have a, a long piece of trim, we have a medallion, um, a big round medallion, and a couple smaller ones. Um, so the cool thing about this is how they work. So it's, um, the, the material is wood-like. So it acts, it has all the characteristics of wood, okay? Um, but, but you heat this up and it becomes bendable. So wood, you bend. So if you guys wanna follow them, it's wood, W-O-O-D, with the letter U, bend. Would you bend is the company. Um, so you can get them on Facebook, check them out on YouTube. There are some really cool videos of people putting this, you know, around a, a bottle and painting it and um, using all the fun decor waxes on it. You can stain this. Again, it has all the characteristics of wood. So you use it just like a wood, um, a wood embellishment, but, but it's bendable. <laughs> so very cool. So I think um, what we're going to do today is we're going to try this piece of trim. So it comes rolled up. Um, 
When it's in its cold state, it's fairly fragile. So if I took this and bent it, it would break, okay? If it breaks, no big deal. You can basically use your wood glue to put it right back together. Okay, you wanna make sure when you're adhering this to your surface that you only use wood glue. Okay, don't use any other kind of glue. You must use wood glue. Um, so, so when it's cold or in its normal state, it, it's, um, you know, it's a little fragile, so just be careful with it. Once we heat it up, it's gonna become pliable and bendable, and we're gonna be able to basically wrap it around a bottle if we want to. So uh, let me show you a piece of furniture that we're gonna be using. So this is a, um, a bench that Bill built out of a couple chairs, and uh, this is the, the wood seat we're gonna be putting on it, so this will be stained. So today we're gonna put the molding on this, on this edge right here. And I'm not sure the length of this, I honestly can't remember, um, and I don't have a tape in here, so once we, uh, don't try to um, unravel this while it's cold, okay? It will break, it's, it's very stiff right now. So um, once we heat it up, we'll be able to unroll the whole thing. You'll kind of see the magic, the magic happen. But so we're gonna put this on here. It's gonna go right onto our wood, and then we're gonna stain. Jo right Sally over. says two hundred and ten centimeters. Oh, girl! We're <clears throat> so for us in the United States, we have no idea what you're talking <laughs> 2. about. Two point five centimeters in an is, inch. Is that a mile? <laughs> is that a foot? I don't know. <laughs> so you know you're gonna get this more and more, right? We're like, how much? cost um, in dollars <laughs> we can't do that funny math <laughs> Tracy helps us out she says 82 inches okay wow so how many feet so 12 inches yeah it's like six, seven, seven seven something eight. wow that's long so there's a lot in there okay so let's see we're gonna take this off and so before we get to this piece, I want to show you how the heat works on these and how it becomes pliable. Now you before can... you go any further, I just want to say that Theo says, I like the cameraman's skill and equipment. Really? He must be using a gimbal. A gimbal? Now I have no idea what a gimbal is. What's a gimbal? But uh, <laughs> it's actually a tripod and I'm just moving it around. <laughs> and just. Just so everyone knows, this is this is our lighting system too. That's that's an upright lamp laying on its side. Oh, we got How's that? social light here too. We're good. Which does nothing. Does nothing. Okay, so we're gonna use a heat gun. You can use a hair dryer or you can use a heat gun. Uh, just you know, be careful with the heat gun. They they get really hot. Um, so we're gonna today a little noisy. We're gonna put it on high. You don't need to um, do this very long, from what I've seen, but we're gonna find out right now. Here we go. And when you, it smell, I can already smell like a wood smell. So it smells just like I'm almost sanding, sanding something. Always keep the heat gun moving so it doesn't burn. All right, so it's starting to get pretty flexible now. And it gets pretty warm. I just touched it, it's pretty warm. It's gonna get hot. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Okay, so now do you see it's bending, right? Not breaking, bending, pretty flexible. So cool. So you can, um, let's get it a little, little more because I think it'll bend a little more. I think, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing this for the first time, guys, because we want to show you how easy this is. Why did we do everything for the first time on video? <laughs> because people are afraid and we want to make sure that you're not afraid to try these new things. And this one's pretty thick. I don't really know how flexible it would get. And, and these come in all different sizes. So um, I wanted to try to show you how it would wrap around something. Here, hang on. So just, just for kicks, if you wanted to wrap this, Look how easy it bends. Put a little wood glue on, and then when you put, so you put your glue on the back, and we'll, we'll show you in just a minute. You put your glue on the back, put it on, and I, it, I think the heat, for, for, so when it's wood, 
with wood glue and wood, right? Those three things and the heat, it's gonna adhere super quick and, and pretty, pretty solid firm. So you don't have to clamp it or anything like that. It just glues on. So as it starts to cool, it'll start to get um, hard again. So you may need to, whoop. whoa. So much for that good <laughs> camera work, huh? Good job. As soon as you turn this thing sideways, <laughs> nice. <laughs> so as you, um, as you have it out, you, you know, it's gonna start to cool down and start to get firm again. So you may need to reheat it if you're working on a bend. Um, now here's a question that I'm gonna ask because I don't know if, and maybe Sally, you can answer this. If, does it re go back to its original shape as it cools? Or would it? Or do you have to or, put it back in its shape? Is that well, I'm wondering like if you wrapped it around something and then held it there until it cooled, would it maintain that shape? Or would it go back to its original shape if you uh, let it, you know, if you took it off of that? I don't know. So Sally says no. So it doesn't mean it doesn't go back to its original shape. Okay. It will maintain the shape that you but have it, it in when it cools. But if you reheat it, it'll bend. Then again it'll bend and again. Yeah. Out. Okay. Okay. So um, so some of these I've seen they're real pretty and long, right? And maybe you have one that's um, too big for the piece that you want to put it on. So uh, let's just say, for example, and. I wouldn't use this here, but just for an example, let's say you wanted to put this here, but you didn't want it to stick out. Once it's heated, you can cut these. You can um, cut them with just a scissor. I've seen um, probably an X-Acto knife, I would imagine. Uh, you can also sand it. So um, if it's hard and you, you just break the end off, you can sand the edge to make it, um, make it smooth. So th these are so stinking versatile. <laughs> I mean, <coughs> It's just, and 3,000 molds, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's do this one too, and then we're going to get to the trim piece. So this one is pretty big, right? It's, um, I don't know, one, two, three, maybe three and a half inches diameter. So Sally says it maintains the shape that you hold it in as it cools. Okay. Which is the same thing if anyone's ever worked, and probably not, but I've made some things out of PVC where you have to heat the PVC pipe up and then bend it into shape. And then it cools relatively quickly, the PVC pipe. So as soon as I got it in that shape, you just hold it there for a few seconds, let it cool and it'll maintain that shape. It sounds like this does the same thing. So if you wrapped it around a bottle or a piece of furniture or a table leg yeah. and just held it there and waited for it to cool, you could probably take it off, glue it, and then put it back on with it maintaining the shape that you, you wanted it on. Yeah. So this one's starting to bend. Ooh, it gets really hot, guys. So this one's starting to bend. This is really thick in the middle. And this probably <clears throat> may not be one that you would necessarily wrap around something, but maybe. So it looks like the thicker they are, maybe. Of course, the longer it's going to take to get bendy. Sally says they cool down at the same rate that they heat up. Okay. So if it took 60 seconds to heat up, to bend it to the shape that you wanted, it would take another 60 seconds for it to cool back down to its original. And Sally, do you go by Sally or Sally Joe? I wanna make sure we're getting your name right. Ooh, Okay, so I don't want to um, spend too much time on this one, but it's getting flexible. You can see it kind of bending. It's very hot. So I'm going to put it down. We're going to let it cool, and we're going to move on to this one, and then we're going to go ahead and get this glued up onto one edge of the seat. So... Sally says anything is cool. <laughs> All right. So her, and I, th I think we were aware of this, her tip is... When you do the trim, heat it up in the coil until the whole trim is warmed up. Okay. And the coil will maintain, you know, retain the heat, and then you can uncoil it from there. Okay. Let's get our glue ready too. So we're using um, so this, tight bond. This is glue. our tight. This tight. This is our top. And we're gonna do the side of the top. And you may have. 
have some trouble with that. There you go. She's just putting some glue on a paper plate. So we're gonna put, we're gonna apply it with this, and then I have some Q-tips ready because if the glue starts to come out along the edge, we just want to wipe it uh, away so we don't have to do a lot of cleanup later. All right. Now that looks like to be what about a three-eighths of an inch thickness or width, I should say. Maybe, yeah, probably about three-eighths of an inch. All right, here we go. And we got our scissors ready because we're gonna cut it. And when I watched the, your YouTube video yesterday, I saw you heated it on one side, flipped it over, and then heated it on the other. Sally recommends we put the wood, I mean, we put the glue on the wood, not the trim. Gotcha. Oh, put the wood. Put the glue on the wood first, not the trim. Really? Yeah. What if we make a mess? Don't make a mess. <laughs> 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 so should we do that now? Now she says pop the pop the glue on the wood. Now hopefully she means put the w glue on the wood. <laughs> Is there a way of popping it? I don't know. <laughs> so put it on this first? Yes. And then do we put it on this too? Because I think I saw you putting it on the trim. Oh, look, look guys. Do you see it? Getting all flexity now. <laughs> How cool. <laughs> <laughs> English term, put, sorry. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of this, aren't oh, we? Like, pop it on, like, pop it Just on. pop it on, yeah. 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 <laughs> We're all going to learn. <laughs> That's how we bring people together, right? <laughs> all right, so I think, all right, so do you guys see this now? Woo! -hoo. So it's nice and flexible. So let's go ahead and measure it. And if I'm a little over, I'm not going to be too concerned. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I think I would almost deliberately make it a little long so we could trim it later. Okay. And this is probably a little thin for this, but we just couldn't wait to try it. So yeah. we're doing it. it okay. It's just a cool little accent on Ooh. the edge that I think will be. So we're going to cut it. Really nice. Oh my goodness. We cut it. We just cut wood. Cut it with a scissor. With a scissor. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so much fun. So much for my tools that are thousands of dollars. <laughs> you know, she used, just used a scissor. Bill's a carpenter, so he's like, oh my gosh, this is like... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now we want to put glue onto the wood. So take that off. Yes. And let's, let's wrap the... Ooh. Now here's, do, do you want it just down the center? What do you mean? Like, do you want that to be just down the center? Where, where else would it be? Uh, uh, top, bottom... Oh. Well, it's too thin. You're going to have to heat that up again, I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think we should put it along the top? Down the center. The only problem with doing it down the center is you're going to have a hard time... Centering it? Centering it, yeah. Hey, Trula. I'm not too worried about it, honestly. All right. All right, so we're going to put... I'm really nervous about putting the glue on the wood. It's going to dry by the time I get... No, it won't. It won't? No. All right. So and take, then do take I... that off and just put a bead right down the center. <laughs> Somebody named Jeff Hansen is asking, is there any advantage to heating this, the surface glue too? I will defer. I will defer. Now you are really in the way. Sorry. Sorry. We, we need to see how you're going to pop that on. I'm popping it on. I think if you just, yeah, you know, just get some down the center. Let me just do this. Duh. <laughs> right? That's how I do it. <laughs> Oops. Whoops. <laughs> oh my gosh. I probably should have done this you probably part. probably <laughs> should have done this. All right, so we're going to reheat, and then are we going to put glue on this too? No. No? Okay. I don't want this to fall and break all these other pieces. But it's okay if everything else falls and breaks? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, we're used to painting on camera. <laughs> Not doing this. <clears throat> Theo said you did a very nice job. That's very nice and neat. <laughs> he appreciates. Thank you. 
Is it Theo or Thea? Uh, you know what? My eyes are so bad I can't even see. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, it doesn't smell good. All right, hang on. Harbor Freight pays for stuff. Luckily, we have backup. We love Harbor Freight. We just can't stand their heat guns. <laughs> Terrible. You drop it off the roof once. Now, I'm thinking because this is such a long piece that it probably would have been better to keep it coiled up until we were ready to apply it. Yeah, yeah, because now by the time I get down here. Yeah. Why don't we do this? Let's. Uh, Hang on, it's, it's all right. Is it all right? Yeah. This is how we learn. All right. All right, sorry guys, taking the camera off the tripod. Pressing it down. Just kind of going by eye. I think we eye. can heat it a little bit now too, right? Would it, if we... Should we heat it once it's glued? No more glue. She broke, no more glue. No more glue. What about heat? Are we good? I feel like it's on. Yeah. That's moving a little bit there. Which was good because it wasn't straight. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of glue there, so if you see I mean, any, it's still moving. Because it's already cold, it's already cooled at the touch. Yeah, so she says, yes, heat it up. Okay. And there's a bunch of glue here. Yeah, my biggest, con my biggest fear is all the glue that's coming out. With the stain? Because if we're staining this, the glue does not stain. Painting, who cares? Theo says slightly heated. Yeah, if we were going to paint it, I don't think that it doesn't matter, that little bit of glue coming out. All right. Theo says baby wipes. Yes. Yeah, for the glue, I do need baby. Actually, I have some. I think we're... We're pretty good though. For as crooked as my line was. <laughs> it's it's not bad. It's it's a little off, but you know what? No big deal. I think it's I think it's good. Cool. Very neat. So we'll do um do we have enough I'm not, we won't do it on the on the video tonight, but oh we don't need the sides. So yeah, we have enough to do both sides. Okay. Right. Cool. Now I don't I think we wanna wait to do the other side. You may want to press this in, just see the edges and make sure that they're pushed all the way down. Guys, how cool was this? So cool. So why don't you trim that end just a little bit with the scissor? Uh, let me heat it, because it's hard now. And then we'll put it back on the... Can we stain it? I think I would, myself, I think I would wait until this dries. And I'll ask that, maybe that's a good question. Yeah, like how quick can you? We, we should wait for this to dry before we start doing any. That was, we may need to. Re-glue that in there. Let's put a little bit of glue under there. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah. 
And so we're going to need to trim this a little more, but I, the scissors are just not going to get close enough. No, so no, we'll, we'll, use, an we'll use an exacto knife. I have a little saw that I can use. But let's put it back on the, the bench and see what kind of a... Now there's other mold or other trim that is thicker too. So we will make sure we get a variety for you all. Question Ow. from Nancy. Cool. And it comes, it's supposed to come out just a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, it hangs over? Yeah, okay. just a tad. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What if, I love it. And so what I, I was even, I was telling Bill what I saw last night um, on Karen's video. Actually, Karen's the one that I got these couple um, molds from. She had a box that she was putting um, some trim on on the corners. And then where the box opened, she put, not so big as this one, but she put an emblem on there and cut it where the box opened. So when it closed, you know, it looked like one piece, but I mean, she just, it was on there and she just took a knife and cut it right, right down the center. I mean, I don't know. People are gonna be doing some crazy cool things with this stuff. Yeah, I know we will. <laughs> <laughs> was there a question? Uh, the Jeff had a question that we probably can't answer about uh, any discounts or uh, on their website or promo codes. No, so um, you have to order from a stockist, which will be us, okay? Um, and we haven't even put our order in yet. <laughs> 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 and literally about an hour before this video, Solly and I were like messaging, and I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta be one of these, I gotta do this. Um, so they won, so when I ordered these, prices were very reasonable. Um, this roll of trim, I think, was 17 and some change. So, I mean, you're going to do the whole, and again, how long did we say it was? Eight feet, something like that. So it's, it's yeah, a lot. Somewhere around there were some emblems like these, um, as low as like five bucks. So it just depends what you get. There's some 3D ones. I saw some um, steampunk ones. I, I mean, there's mermaids and cherubs and... <clears throat> Lions. It, lions, tigers, tigers, and bears. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> so the prices are pretty reasonable. Um, so as soon as we get stuff in, we'll get them on our website, and we'll, we will ship these. So we ship all our Dixie Volcano, all our Prima stuff. Uh, we'll, so we'll also ship these, and they're very light. But you, again, you have to be super careful with them, um, especially when they're cold. So we'll, we can just take one just to show you. So this is in its kind of cold state now but you can see how it breaks. But if it does, just glue it back on. I mean, you can't even tell. And do we have, um, let's take a piece of sandpaper. And you can literally just sand this down. I mean, it creates dust just yeah, like Yeah, like if you happen to, wood. if it comes to a termination point on the piece of furniture you're putting it on and it doesn't look good just squared off, you just round off the edge with a piece of sandpaper. Yeah, I mean, how easy was that? And it's nice and smooth now. I mean, of course, it's not going to go back together, but... Not so, that you did um, that, no. Yeah. So, yeah. so cool, and it's, it's, you can turn a plain piece of... Uh, furniture into something amazing. And, and one thing um, I did see, oh, here's a perfect example. <laughs> perfect example. Hang on. And I know I saw this on one of the Would You Bend videos or, or Stockers video, I can't remember, but they were talking about these, all these shelves that we have with these hearts from the 80s. Like everything, ha there's another one over there. It's got a heart cut out in it, which no one's into that anymore. So what do you do? Look at that. Wow. It changes the whole- The whole look of that thing. <laughs> right? That's why I got this one actually, because I wanted to cover up a heart. And I mean, if, you're gonna, if you need to put one on the back, you can. I mean, this is gonna be up against a wall, but I mean, it just changes, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> fail to, wow. Epic, I mean, score, yeah. right? Oh my goodness. <clears throat> so, 
All right, so if at a have, very reasonable price. Yeah, yeah. So if you guys love this, give us some hearts. Please, um, you know, invite friends to see this video. Let them know we're going to be selling these. Um, we'll do a lot more videos as we get better with it and more. Um... Oh, come on! Shut up. <laughs> you I'm, broke I'm it. I'm thinking another one down here. <laughs> All right, easy, easy. I'm just, yeah, I'm thinking another one. You're going to go crazy with this. So, again, Bill's a carpenter, so, like, people want, you know, he's got to make a, and buy this trim and go to Home Depot, buy trim, make trim, whatever. So now, like... Well, look what we did with that other piece of furniture, that antique piece, where that it had that, almost the exact same molding as an inlay. Yeah. Or an overlay, I should say. Yeah. And it was broken, yeah. so we just popped it off. Yeah. Now... Now I can just, I mean, I still may have to pop it off because it may not match exactly. But we can put But now in. I can put something in its place instead of just trying to sand it down yeah. and, you know, try to make it flat so we could paint over it. Yeah. This is awesome. So, um, Solly, thank you for an amazing product. Thank you for um, bringing us into your, your stockist family. I can't wait to put an order in. I don't know how to do it, so hopefully someone will contact me. <laughs> get that in, um, and we'll get this stuff here so people can... Uh, Start, start getting it for their own furniture. Yeah. All right, guys, please share the video um, and, and like it and all that stuff. Let's get the word out on this. And um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. If you're watching our replay, let us know as well. And Solly, thank you. Go to bed. Girl, it's late. The heck's wrong with you? <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> all right, guys, take care.